When you're looking for the right e-bike, you're going to see cadence sensor or torque sensor in the motor. Welcome back to the Baku YouTube channel. My name is Travis and in today's video, I'm going to go over the difference between a torque sensor and a cadence sensor in e-bike motors and why or why not you would want to have one or the other. A cadence sensor in the motor is only wondering if you are pedaling the bike or not. As soon as you start to turn the crank arms or the pedals, the cadence sensor will turn on and it will give you power to the bike to propel you forward. There is no difference in how hard you're pedaling, how long you're pedaling. Um, it's only going to give you power as soon as you start to pedal with that pedal assist in the bike. Now a torque sensing motor, what that does is that actually measures the pressure that you're pedaling the bike. And so if you're giving it just a little bit of uh, force on those pedals and you're going on a flat trail kind of just flowing along and you're softly pedaling, then it's going to give you just a little bit of power from the motor. If you are climbing up a hill and you're pedaling really hard and you're in a lower gear, it's going to give you a, a, lot of, a lot more power to get up that hill. So that's the difference between a torque sensor and a cadence sensor. One thing that you'll notice uh, between uh, these two bikes, like with a torque sensor or with a cadence sensor, is a torque sensor feels a little bit more natural because it's, it's matching the amount of power you're giving. The cadence sensor, like I said before, as soon as you start pedaling, it just turns it on. And so if you're going downhill uh, and you're, you're, you're pedaling, but there's like a, a, sh a sharper curve coming up and you're, you, you keep pedaling, that cadence sensor is going to be on. So it might be a little bit harder to control compared to a torque sensor, where if you're softly pedaling, it's only gonna give you a little bit of power through that turn and it's gonna feel more just like a natural bike ride. And with that, now you can decide a little bit more of what type of sensor or what type of motor you want on your e-bike. Thanks for watching and if this video helped you, please leave a like, it really helps us grow the page and leave any of your questions in the comments down below and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Oh, oh hey, you're still here. Um, okay, click this button if you want to subscribe to our channel and click this one for a playlist on a bunch of more e-bike stuff. Thanks for watching. Click one. Just one of these. <laughs>